I was raised by both my my father and my mother to believe that public service is something that you should strive for. Our new leader was 70% of the vote is Rachel Knopf. Let's not forget history. Let's not repeat history. Let's make history. Thank you. It I is know math 20... is difficult, but no, no. If you're saying 10 percent to 12 percent is a 20 percent increase. You said a 20 percent no. tax. If you I didn't might say increase, if so I, I might just increase. need to make that clear that we're not proposing a 20 percent corporate tax. That would be ridiculous. If I might carry on. Well, take a look at this. Not just an NDP government in Alberta, but a strong majority. Friends, I believe. The change has finally come to Alberta. Next year, we're projecting that royalty revenues will drop by almost 90%. This morning, the Federal Court of Appeal ruled against the Trans Mountain Pipeline. Kill that pipe! I Kill have no that doubt pipe! that we will ultimately get this pipeline built. When everything seems to be piling up against us, Albertans don't just stand by. Why do you still support the carbon tax? We are an energy leader in Alberta, but we are not going to retain that position if we try to pretend that climate change is not an issue. Now I have just spoken to Premier-elect Jason Kenney, and I, and I have offered him my sincere congratulations. Moments ago, I called Premier Danielle Smith to concede the race, and I congratulated her party on their victory. Just a few of the things that make me proud about my time as Premier. We approved and built the Calgary Cancer Centre. We stood up for the rights of working people. We were the first jurisdiction in North America to raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour. We secured Alberta's first pipeline to Tidewater in over 50 years. We eliminated coal-fired electricity in Alberta, thereby increasing the health of countless citizens. We cut child poverty in half. We governed with integrity, an ambitious agenda, and an earnest desire to make life better for Albertans.